Hi everybody, Joe here from Shutterspeak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling faces again here on YouTube. So today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the upcoming Luminar AI. Um, the Luminar AI actually has a little bit of a couple of topics to discuss with it. It isn't exactly a upgrade to Luminar 4. It's not exactly a replacement either. And I'll, I'll step you through that and what exactly Luminar AI is and what it means for Luminar 4. But before we dive right into that, I'd just like to ask you if anything in this video does help you out or helps you make a good purchase decision, which by the way, I think it's going to, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button and feel free to leave me a comment. And when you hit that subscribe button, please ring the bell so that you get notified of future updates on this channel. Thanks, I appreciate it. And best of all, it's free of charge. So that being said, let's talk a little bit about Luminar AI. So Luminar AI is coming out in December. When Luminar, Luminar AI hits the streets in December, Luminar 4 will be just about a year old, maybe a little bit over just about a year old at that point. So what is Luminar AI? Well, in terms of how it plays in the ecosystem of Luminar products, Luminar AI is the next evolution. Okay, so it's not an upgrade to Luminar 4. So, for example, it cannot, as of right now, and this is subject to change because this product isn't even in beta yet, but as of right now, we cannot update your Luminar 4 catalog into Luminar AI. Okay, so it's not an upgrade, it's more of a replacement. That being said, Luminar 4 can stay installed on your system and remain and work separately from Luminar AI, but they are two separate products. So, again, that being said, what happens then to Luminar 4? So, Luminar 4 is going to be around uh, for about another year in terms of updates um, and maintenance. There may be a few minor feature releases, things that are already in the works that just need some finishing up. However, you're not going to see another major upgrade to Luminar 4. It is effectively being replaced by Luminar AI. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why can't I just take my Luminar 4 catalog and upgrade it into Luminar AI? Well, they're a functionally different code base. It's a whole new way of uh, engineering for Skylum and this this product is totally rewritten from the ground up and there are things in 4 that don't really translate to AI and vice versa so as of now there is no easy upgrade path to take that catalog and bring it into AI however you can have a Luminar 4 catalog and you can have a Luminar AI catalog they can both look at the same images and they will interact with each other and everything will play fine. Uh, changes you make in 4 aren't going to appear in AI, but it's not going to damage anything in AI either. So uh, in terms of that, uh, that, that is something to consider. Now, I know that there is a lot of talk on the internet and forums and things like that of people being upset about this, but let's face it, um, in terms of pricing, most people probably got Luminar 4 in around the $69 range or so. And for a year of use, it's not horrible. And it's not to say that you have to stop using it. You can continue to use Luminar 4 for the next year. Um, and even beyond that, you know, just because, it, you know, at the end of 2021, they're saying that they'll stop maintenance and updates most likely. But that doesn't mean that the program is going to stop working. You may be able to continue to use Luminar 4 for many years to come, and it may be a great product for you. But uh, in terms of Luminar AI, what does Luminar AI bring to the table that Luminar 4 doesn't? Well, in terms of AI, what Luminar and Skylum have done, what Skylum has done, is they've interviewed a bunch of different photographers and gotten their opinions on how they would process particular images, landscape images, portrait images, etc. 
and they said, hey, what would you do with this image? And they programmed this into an AI. And when the AI takes a look at your image, it's going to make suggestions based on what these pros would have recommended for you know, a, a reference pool of sample images that are similar to your image. And you'll get essentially a, a suggestion, if you will, and, and various templates that you could go through that will make suggestions on how to edit your image. And if you like one of them, you would just really just have to click it and you could pretty much be done. But if you didn't like it or you wanted to tweak it, you have the option then to go in and edit it and change certain aspects of it and then export it. So it's really trying to take the job of making the edits to your photos a lot faster. Now, what does this really mean in terms of photography? That's a whole different discussion that we could have uh, in terms of, you know, has this now been the next step where the computer removes the creativity from photography? Well, again, that, that, that's a conversation to have for a different day. And, and quite honestly, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So let me know in the comments if this is something that would interest you or if you think that this is at this point giving the computer too much control over creativity and removing it from the photographer. But that being said, again, they're just suggestions. You can apply templates. Uh, you can edit the looks of these templates, add various elements and, and create your own image. But it's going to make the process of getting there a lot faster. And it's designed to give you inspiration. Um, there is a 30 day money back guarantee on this. So that's nice. Um, there will be um, there or at least they're predicting that there's going to be some export functions to Aurora. So that's a nice thing to have so that you will be able to perhaps take images, send them to Aurora, process them to Aurora and then bring them back into Luminar AI and work on them from there. That would be welcome. But no major updates coming to Aurora. That's another thing that that has come out of uh, the meetings on AI and uh, with uh, people like uh, myself and other um, content creators who, you know, give you an insight here on YouTube and other places. So um, first 30,000 users, there is going to be some introductory in introductory pricing. OK, it's uh, essentially sixty nine dollars. You're going to save ten dollars uh, by ordering it early. So again, that's limited to the first 30,000 user, users. But additionally, you can save another $10 and get this product at $59 if you only need one, what they're calling seat. Now, what's a seat? Let's say you have a computer, like a desktop, and you have a laptop. Most software packages like Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop allow you two installations. One typically would be used on your desktop. One would typically be used on your laptop. Only one can be used at a time, not two at the same time. However, you would get two installations. So if you only have one computer, let's say you only have a laptop and you don't have a desktop and you only need one installation, you can save $10 and get the product at $59. If you need two, like myself, well, then it's going to be the regular price of $69. Okay, so they're saving you 10 if you only have one PC or Mac that you're working with. Um, so let's see what else. Uh, all right, so again, the, uh, the AI just makes suggestions. Like, for example, if you were cropping, upon release, the uh, AI is going to make cropping suggestions based on your original aspect ratio, and it'll give you ideas of how you can creatively crop an image to make it better. Again, the suggestions, you can do whatever you want, but there will be those suggestions there. And then in the future, um, there are plans for them to have other aspect ratios. Uh, so, you know, regardless of what aspect ratio you're cropping at, there should be suggestions. Uh, also, uh, additionally, it's going to be a left to right functionality. So you'll have your catalog up top from your catalog. You'll go to your catalog. Theoretically, this is a typical workflow, I guess, on how they envision things working. You go to your catalog, pick your image. Uh, the next thing is going to be the template section where you'll get different ideas on what look you can apply to your image. Uh, from there, the next module over would be your editing module where then you can go in and fine tune 
the product and then from there your publishing module where you would export the final product. Um, there is a lot of uh, emphasis here on uh, also uh, speed to workflow so batch processing is something they've thought a, a lot about. There's uh, now some uh, body touch-up uh, plugins as well uh, to the portrait touch-up uh, section so so that's been added in as well and then of course uh, we also have the Luminar X program uh, it's five dollar per month program paid annually and that's going to give you 10 looks per month as well as two new sky 10 new skies per month and then approximately two video courses per month as well so I'll show you here a couple of features uh, there's not a lot out there yet there's not even a uh, beta for us to test yet but essentially this is what you're looking at now in terms of if you are looking at Luminar 4 I would tell you if you're looking to purchase Luminar 4 wait pre-order Luminar AI get in at that ground level pricing it's supposed to be the, the lowest pricing they, they're going to offer right now again it's limited to 30,000 the first 30,000 orders um, get in on this product because it is a full replacement to four they're not really compatible like I said the catalog of four is not going to uh, translate into AI you're not going to be able to merge it so at this point there's, there's not even a bundle option or anything like that as of right now where if you bought four you'd get AI down the road as of right now that's not on the table it's not to say that Skylum won't have something like that down the road but not right now I would really recommend if you're making a purchase decision to go with the AI program and wait it'll be out in December get it then uh, you know get in on a pre-order pricing I'll leave you a link into uh, the description on a direct uh, link to jump over and order that product if you want to get in on it and again you know this is uh, you know question that I asked was is this a long-term code base for you guys do you see this code base of AI being a long-term product that you're going to build upon for years to come and the answer that I got was absolutely yes so it's a big code code base change for them listen this happens in software development I understand that people out there are upset about it but this is just the way it is sometimes with software development Luminar can't compete with Adobe they, uh, Skylum uh, I'm sorry Luminar the product Skylum is the company Skylum can't compete head-to-head -head with Adobe there's just too much money resources and and to go try and go feature to feature doesn't make sense and those features are already there so you already have Photoshop and all the features that are built into Photoshop you already have Lightroom and all the features that are built into Lightroom I really think a great workflow here is to go from Lightroom into a product like Luminar 4 or down the road shortly Luminar AI where you'll do some creative stuff and um, you know if you need to get images out the door quickly this is going to be a great place you know like like for myself just I'll give you an example of, of where when this paid off for me I had done a job for an aviation company that was selling an airplane so I had to photograph the airplane wasn't a tremendous amount of pictures maybe you know 40 pictures of an airplane but it was just horrifically overcast it had been raining for a week before it rained for days after we got this in in between but the sky just looked dreary and they said hey what can you do well what I could do was I could take that into Luminar 4 those 35 40 images batch sky replacement put a brand new bright blue sky with some puffy clouds in them send them off to the company and they were happy as can be so in terms of getting work done quickly Luminar is fantastic but if you want to sit in Luminar and just edit and tweak and refine and spend hours in there being creative on an image you can do that too and and that's the, the really great product so what they're focusing on is being one thing being that platform that can get stuff out the door quickly or being the platform that you can sit 
in and just be creative and make something new that you never expected. Have fun exploring the different tools that are fun and easy to use, you know, without the frustration of masking and things like that that go into uh, Photoshop. And I believe the stat that they threw out is that the average Photoshop user has about 16 years of experience with Photoshop, whereas somebody with Luminar can really jump right in pretty quickly and get the hang of it and, and do sky replacement in minutes and, and just have fun with things. Or you can really fine tune stuff with, you know, uh, color and structure and things like that and just, just have fun. So they're different products, Photoshop, Lightroom, Luminar, they're different products. Luminar is going for the specialty platform of being just uh, the platform that, that can be creative and give you wild ideas that, that you didn't think of uh, without having uh, a mastery of Photoshop. So there you have it. I'll leave you a link. Let me know in the comments what you think about AI taking over the future of photo editing. Thanks for watching. If anything helps you out, and I hope it did in terms of making a good purchase decision, please, once again, hit the subscribe button, hit like, Leave me a comment about AI. We know how that worked on uh, Battlestar Galactica, didn't we? The robots took over. And let's not even get into whole, that whole Terminator thing. That didn't end well either, did it? But hey, anyway, thanks for watching YouTube. See you soon. Bye-bye.